It was the fright of my life when the Holy Spirit revealed to me that the words of Jesus were not just written to other people in the Scripture, but were also directed at me. Most Bible-believing Christians don't apply the words of Jesus to themselves. They apply it to other people, thinking someone else out there Jesus was talking to, but certainly not me. The Holy Spirit came to convict you and me, not just other people out there in the world. These are the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 7. Jesus says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Someone who is crying, Lord, Lord, who is crying out to Jesus, is not someone who is an atheist. It's not someone who is of a different religion. It is someone who thinks they are a Christian. Someone who thinks they're following Jesus. It is someone who believes they are in the truth. But not every single person who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, according to Jesus. There's verses you can quote that says, if you call on the name of the Lord, you will be saved. But according to Jesus, unless you obey Him, you won't be saved. Jesus says, many will say, Lord, Lord, and call on my name, but only those who obey me will be saved. The next verse says this, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. A lot of people, see, they also think that they are doing the will of God. That they are being obedient. These people here, they thought they were being obedient to Jesus. They were preaching in the street, casting out demons. How could they not have been obedient to Jesus? I thought to myself, how am I more obedient than these people right here that Jesus rejected? That was the fright of my life. And the reason why is because they were not following Jesus the way Jesus had called them to follow Him. They were not obeying Jesus by the power of His Spirit. They were following Jesus the way they thought best. They were following God by their own spirit, the way that pleased them. We need to follow Jesus and get to know Jesus. We need to go before Him and say, Lord Jesus, are You pleased with me? Do You know me? Because many will wake up dead before Jesus and they won't ever wake up while they were still alive. We need to wake up to truth as we are still alive, while we still have time. Many, the first time that they will awake is when they stand before Jesus in judgment and He says to them, Friend, I never knew you. We must wake up before it is too late. Go and ask Jesus if He knows you. Not a Bible verse that you're quoting, not something that you can prove from here that Jesus has to let you into His kingdom because you can prove it out of your Bible. But go and ask Jesus. Because when you stand before Him on Judgment Day, you're not going to be able to quote Jesus a Bible verse. What verse are you going to be able to quote Him that proves that He has to let you into His kingdom? There's nothing you're going to be able to say. Ask Jesus if He knows you. Go before Him and say, Lord Jesus... Humbly before you I ask you, are you pleased with me? And if not, what must I do? Go and ask the Lord Jesus.